for some shit. And so this big bad ass, that's God, and when they cramp up, you know, they say, damn, he, he not talking like he's supposed to be talking. I see what the hell going on. And so they go around the back and catch the motherfucker talking through a microphone. <laughs> and then you son of a bitch. <laughs> but see, this is God. See, this is the facade of God. You understand what I'm saying? But anything that ever been wrote by about God been wrote by a man. Yeah. God damn it. I'm yeah. I'm, I ain't done. Wait a minute. And so wait a minute, let me get to this part. So when you go into the confessional, it's a man in there. That's right. You it's always a goddamn man. He speaks for this God. But you will never see this God. You'll only see that man. Bottom line, anything about a goddamn religion, it lead back to a man. It's man-made. Right. Ain't no it why why big badass God ain't just part this cloud and just get this shit on over with. Here I am. Big badass, what's gonna hurt him? He God. You know, just let us know. Why hasn't he never, never said nothing to the, the world as a whole? Mm -hmm. Why? Why not? At least once. You understand what I'm saying? It's a create people had I, you know, they looked out into the stars and they won. We knew it was something greater than us. We know we didn't put it here, but we nobody ever could confirm nothing. But people would start to gather ideas mm -hmm. about and try to come up with answers. And over thousands and thousands of years of recorded, you know, thinking and whatnot, that became religion. That's all it is. But it's still theory. It's what we believe. People didn't just want to go off nowhere. You know what I'm saying? People just didn't know. So when you really think about it, monotheism, didn't start with no damn Bible. That had to be, because you had to come up with a concept of a God first. Right. Just a concept of a God. So automatically you would go into monotheism and you're just going to add nothing and you just jump into three. Like, damn, you know, it's, you know what I'm saying? It got to be some type of development. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it ain't start with them crackers. And so it's the same thing. As he speaks for the Wizard of Oz, the goddamn cracker in the confessional speaks for this God. It's always a man. And the man, you know, religion is the deification of your culture. It was keeping you up on top. That's what religion is. What keep black people up on top? If God damn it, it don't keep my people first and foremost, you got to tear that shit up. You got to tear that shit up. My people always win. God damn it, I can't fuck with that. You know, that's what religion, your indigenous religion is like. It always keeps you up top. And most people who keep their indigenous religion, they know they're not going to give it up. They're going to fight this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Because they know if they give that up, they done gave up everything. So a lot of people look at us and say, damn, we like a, a what not to fucking be. These niggas don't fight, don't do shit. They just give us an opportunity to put a couple little rags on our back. We could drive a car, but he gonna get that bitch back. <laughs> he gonna get it back. And he, if he give you the motherfucking money, if they, he can take 750 million from one motherfucker, Tiger Woods. Yeah. What the hell you think he gonna do with our little ass? He's stepping on us with the light beat. You know what I'm saying? It don't take much to see niggas down here. You know what I'm saying? So don't think you can outdo him. You know what I'm saying? Come on, family. It's just like Monopoly, but it's just on the state level. This shit is prepackaged, and the rules already come with this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And the money shit is play. Because you, believe it or not, they don't, you think a motherfucker like, you know, Bill Gates, actually, he fronting if he pulls the money out of his pocket. You know what I'm saying? Most people probably just, whatever the motherfucker, you walk in, they just give it to him. You know what I'm saying? If he want a car, the motherfuckers already gonna send him one. You know, they ain't exchanging using no, that shit is just, you know, numbers to give you illusion and all that. You know what I'm saying? But they're not exchanging dollars like that. That's for us. That's for the common man. And so it's the same thing. When you look at it like that, it's exactly what it is. It's always a motherfucking man or a woman speaking for God. You never, and so when you think you talking to God, I know. People say they talk to God in their head. Nigga, you know you talking back. 
for God. Because you're going to stop to, you're going to say, man, let me quit fucking with myself. You know what I'm saying? Because you know damn well you talking back for God. Yes, you is. Yes, you is. Yes, you is. Yes, you is. Now, if a nigga go to church and do it, and say it, then say he caught, caught the Holy Ghost. But if a nigga was out there on the corner with a wild bottle and saying the same shit, you call him crazy. Don't play the game, baby. Don't play the game, dog. Don't play the game. It don't mean it ain't no spiritual essence. We just can't define it. But we know how to get in it because it's natural to us. And so we just go with the flow. You ain't got to, we ain't in here jumping on nobody. Half you ain't read the Bible, you can't accredit that to the Bible. It's just our natural way of, but it's outside forces that's causing us to act this goddamn way. It's about 15% of these niggas that's causing this shit. And because we don't contain them, it look like it's everybody. Period. 15% of niggas can cause a lot of damage if you don't contain them. So either you're going to contain the nigga, contain the cracker, or shut the fuck up. Because it's not going to change. No books, no none of this reading is good enough to wake. You should know by now. We should know what this shit is about, and we should move on. And we already in the hole, because Garvey was saying that most of this shit was going to happen. We're number three now as far as population. They flooding these Mexican in, they're going to be the buffer zone. So, I mean, be prepared to go to war with them motherfuckers. That's all I can say. And I don't give a fuck. If all black people are united, them motherfuckers gonna get slain. Yes. They can't bring it yes. to us. That's Believe me. Man, we are, you know what I'm saying? They dealing with our brothers out there in LA because they got greater numbers. But if they bring that shit into a mass amount of blacks, they gonna get their ass slain. Yes. When they came, when they, they came over here and put their ass to work, and they wiped their ass out. They brought us on. We ain't, we still up. They ass been gone. You understand what I'm saying? They been gone. So they know who the strongest. But we got to be black first. Leave all that fucking religion alone. And keep the spirituality. That's you. You understand what I'm saying? Keep that. I'm not saying give up the spirituality. That's what's going to keep us together. The essence, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's up. But that religion, that's some bullshit. All that shit was given to us in slavery. It got us going in all the different directions. And at the end, they want us to love the motherfucker that done this shit to us. Forgive him. You understand what I'm saying? We cannot do that. We need our shit. <laughs> I'm serious. That's the only way we gonna come up. They want you to turn the other cheek 750 times while they stab you in the back. I ain't got no more cheeks. <laughs> I ain't got no more cheeks. And so, you know, I would go through that right there. You know what I'm saying? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I never thought it could work. But look, is this actually the same man? So when your goddamn God look like this motherfucker, that's what I'm saying. Look at the beard. Look at that. It's him. You understand what I'm saying? He laughing at your ass. It's him. Look at the beard. It's the same fucking man. It's the same man. And so when your God look like that, man, you understand what I'm saying? You got to go in the, uh, into the, the mirror, the bathroom, close the door turn out the lights. Get you a little candle. Just so you can just get a glimmer of your face. And you look. And you think. And you ask yourself the question. Who am I? That's the essence of it all. You understand what I'm saying? Too many people don't know that. They, we come out because we search. But a lot of people have not asked answered that question. You know what I'm saying? That's why it ain't no no progress, bottom line. So when we figure that out, you understand what I'm saying? It's gonna be a lot of more, uh, you know, better success. You see what I'm saying? And we got to understand we're doing it to ourselves. You must be responsible for your own liberation. You don't wanna hear no motherfucker talking about what we gonna do. We ain't gonna do shit. What you gonna do? Motherfucker, they think you supposed to put them on your goddamn shoulders and carry their ass to freedom. It don't work, work like that. Every motherfucker got to run for they self. 
Motherfucker, when you see that motherfucking hole in the gate, bitch, get through it. <laughs> That's it. The motherfucker gonna carry you through this shit, man. I'm with you. We with you. The more of us together, the more of us gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? But when y'all see that break, y'all got to get goals. That's it. But it's starting here. It's starting here. You got to want to free yourself. So, you know, in essence, what I'm trying to say here, you know, just like the confession. See, he's writing that goddamn book. He's writing for God. No God, I mean, he ain't got no goddamn print and press. And paper come from papyrus. Bottom line. Paper come from papyrus. If you was writing before the African, what the fuck was you writing it on? Because it wasn't paper. So manuscripts come with papyrus and paper. Okay? Don't let them off. You, you'll stop them in their tracks right there. They'll come up with all kind of other shit. <laughs> oh, but they was writing on sheet skins and all this type of shit. But they ain't writing on them today. That shit on paper. So everything is just showing you. This right here is from Egypt, writing on paper. And so they kept, that's the best technology. Because even when that got down electricity, you can still read a book, at least in the daytime or in the night if you got a camera. Them books, is, so you got to get them scrolls because they're going to take them. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to even, some of them, the elders are starting to pass, and you know, you're not able to get the books as much. You know, uh, Blueprint for Black Power, I know it's out now, but for a minute, it was hard to get that book. It was on eBay. They were trying to get bread for it. Yeah, they were trying to get bread for it. So, I mean, when it's available, you have to get two and three and four of them. You know what I'm saying? Some books, I know I done bought at least 10, 15 times. Like Stolen Legacy, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? You keep buying them. You know? They keep the bookstores running. We got to have this. We ain't got this, we ain't got shit. And that's why these, these people can talk shit about us. We can't even keep our jewels open. That's some bullshit. Y'all gotta come in, you know, think about the shit you buying every day, every week. You can spend that with family. Shit, keep this shit going. We got to, it's no, it's no, we can't be discussing this shit over and over. So the book becomes a prison. You understand what I'm saying? If you ain't with, your family ain't in this book, you ain't with them. You understand what it's just like a, the genie in the lamp. The only thing is the lamp been replaced with the book. You trapped in it. Okay? When you believe in another man's religion, your, spiritual, your spirituality is entrapped. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody can connect to the, the essence. Everybody. You born with the power to do that. It connect right here through your pineal gland. It's the sun, it's our, it's our deity. And when you keep that sun up there, when you look at that cracker, you automatically see him for what he is. He's burning, farther than done this. It's so ordained. Motherfucker, something that has happened to you where the father don't want you here. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna have to go with, with father. Cause you know, I'm gonna have to go with father on that. See, we, that's why when I spell Africa, I make sure I spell it R-A. F-A-L-R-A-K-A, -A. keeping that sun up in center. Because, you know, the white man cannot be chosen in a sun-centered religion. That's why when you look at the halo, it's always down behind the head in the Western world, because they demoted it. But in, in Egypt, it's always up top, above the head. They pushed it down, you understand, and gave you the illusion that they image and the sun was one and the same, but it's not. How the fuck is a white man gonna have a sun anywhere and then look at the damn vampire? I got the shit. You got to so a man thank him, so is he. See what I'm saying? You go into his art and shit. Let me get into this. See this? Let me put this up here. See, he automatically lets us know we his enemy. He paints his devil black. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, every the devil's food cake. Black Monday, Black Tuesday, Black Wednesday. You understand? Demonizing black. He lets us know all the time that we is his enemy. Why we don't know that? You know, why don't we do that in our you know, paintings and let our children know that the white man is the enemy? Just as he do his children. See, your art is like, you know, that's a strong part of your culture. You put 
uh, historical markers and, and you know, that keep you on track. See what I'm saying? It keeps him on track. This nigga is the enemy. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, they got this one um, painting, uh, this picture called Dorian Gray, where he's a young man. Somehow he's retained his youth. You understand? But he has a picture on the wall, and his age has been transferred to the painting. And the way, only way that, that that can keep happening, he can never look upon the painting. Yeah, I read that. He can never look upon the painting, because once he do, it's broken. That's all the evil that he's doing. You can see the picture on the wall is ugly. You understand? Evil looking. It's decayed. You understand? That's him. So a man think of, so is he the white man no better than something? That's a nigga, man. Motherfucker, the white man showing you. He no better than anybody who he is. He showed you. And, and niggas can't, you know, they love the cracker so much they'll make up an excuse for him, yeah. even when he won't make up one for himself. Yeah. That's a nigga. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? That's a nigga. See, even in Islam, yes, I didn't, I didn't do the painting. Okay, don't get mad at me. I brought this, you know, from the internet, and it's showing you what they think of the black man and the devil. They so good and bad. Right and wrong, that's arbitrary to the frame of mind that you in. When you say good and bad is in everybody, yeah, it is. But what's good to you and what's bad to me? What's good for a Christian is bad for a Muslim. What's bad for a Muslim is good for a Jew. So you can't act like this cracker. He got a whole different nature. You know what I'm saying? Our bad may be, you know, you sneak out in the bush and get some. You know, before the time was to get it. You understand what I'm saying? And you get busted. But this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? He, I mean, he ain't got no damn bad. He'll do any goddamn thing. And I want y'all to be strong because I'm going to show y'all some shit. You know what I'm saying? But I have to show y'all this. Because some of you niggas, and you know, people don't want to see it because they don't want to believe that these motherfuckers is in, inside of his, us like this. Oh. These motherfuckers is sick on a, a level I can't even explain. Yeah. And it may, and I don't, if you ain't scared, you ought to be. Yeah, that's the Motherfuckers truth. saying that you that's being true. scared, ain't nothing wrong with being scared. Yeah. Well, you, if you don't do nothing about it. <laughs> See, most of the time I get nervous like that. You understand? I be ready to do something. You know what I'm saying? Because if you make me feel like that, God damn, you know what I'm saying? You make me, well, you know what I'm saying? You know, because I feel like you're going to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> here it is. This is our history. If you think this is Africa, why would you want to fuck with it? See, people ain't going with This is what they wrote in the early history books. We haven't had our true history. We just getting it. We, this is, a, this is a, a, a young community. You understand what I'm saying? Don't act like we've been here a long time, but we digress. We coming back. You understand what I'm saying? But it's been, you know, some time in between college. Dr. Ben and Dr. Clark. You understand? You have Ashrock Quasies that's going on, but we talking about field generals every day in these streets. Niggas were not out here. And so in that time frame, we done digressed, even the community. Every part of black America has digressed. When we digress on for real, for real, we the ones that bring these people this knowledge. I'm talking about the Dr. Ben, the, Dr. the Amos Wilson, the Colin Muhammad. These is grassroots soldiers. You understand what I'm saying? When you lose them grassroots soldiers like that, the community digress. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas been reading, you get the scrolls because that's for the baby. You got to have the scrolls for the library for your, your babies that's coming up so that they'll know. So you, you grow your library as much as you can with African knowledge. You understand? But us as elders, we didn't know this shit. They've been spitting it for a minute. We digress. We scared of the crack. Bottom line. Mm. They done hurt us so bad in many diabolical ways that it's even down in our DNA. Mm. Niggas, we ain't, we isolated. Nobody has come to help us. We're isolated. We don't have no connection to no part of even the diaspora, even in the islands. We haven't even built no connection with them on a serious level. The ones down in South America, Brazil, large African community. We haven't reached our arms out to them and built, built up alliances of African unity. All these African centers 
on this planet. The African is the only race that got at least 100 to 250 million people on each continent. Mm -hmm. Okay? We don't have to ship no soldiers nowhere. They're already there. Uh -huh. See what I'm saying? These motherfuckers got to ship their army somewhere. <laughs> we got 250,000 probably in the, between India and the South Pacific. You see what I'm saying? And then you got Brazil, the, the islands in America. That's at least 200 million. So we got at least 200 million Africans on every goddamn continent. Why we don't know that? So that's what I'm talking about, global African supremacy. And it can start with the individual plan. You understand? You will see it come together, even though we might not be organizing like this. If everybody is doing their little bit, it's still going to come to the same conclusion. So that puts the shit on you to do what the hell you got to do. Everybody got to look out for self. And when you see everybody starting to look out for self, then y'all will see y'all moving together. And then it'd be more easy to come together and work. You know what I'm saying? But if motherfuckers out here fronting and shit, when it comes to, damn, they ain't organizing. Motherfuckers, y'all ain't got it up here and here yet to yourself. So ain't nobody else could do it for you. Let me go into some that I'm just going to, uh, let me go into this hip hop. Let me go out in, into this hip hop. See, now this is another major institution of genocide. Mm -hmm. the, the Pied Pipers. Yeah. Leave now our, our babies off the edge. And he's the real Pied Piper. Messing with babies. Mm -hmm. Messing with babies. Come on, family. That's being up under these crackers too goddamn long. You know, you become the goddamn cracker. Mm -hmm. The worst fucking thing you can do. Scared of the goddamn white man. You rather fucking live like this, like a beast? Mm -hmm. Man, uh, the shit that I see black people doing now is, is fucked up on the internet, especially them sisters. Oh, man. That's why I ain't showed the shit yesterday. But people need to see it because they need to deal with it. When you got this shit all in the music video, young G's want money. They want the, the women. They want the cars. Who wouldn't want it? God damn, we've been down here living without shit for the longest. You can't blame a motherfucker for wanting to come up. If y'all don't want these goddamn kids to be in the goddamn street, get some goddamn businesses for them. Or shut the fuck up. You ain't giving them no goddamn alternative. Man, y'all, we done threw our babies to the motherfucking white man. And he done did whatever the fuck he wanted to to them babies. And you know he's a fucking pedophile. Yeah. And motherfuckers don't want to see it because they don't want to be held responsible for it. You cannot say you know God and throw your babies away to this beast like That's this. That's right. That's right. What kind of fucking God is that? Exactly. All right. You know... And so they use, that's the carrot, the cars, the status, the money, uh -huh. the houses, the luck, the luxury. Yeah. And they, they ride them babies off the edge just like that. Yeah. Uh, the movie 300. They know we more than them. But you see how that, them crackers fought that war? Uh, Exerces came over there with a damn near million man army. Uh -huh. But they brought them to a small pass but the motherfuckers only could go in there so few at a time. <laughs> so they gonna give you no wide array of things to become. You gonna either be a dope man, a ball player, or a motherfucking rapper. Yeah. That's it, yeah. a small pass, and they gonna wipe motherfuckers out. Yeah. The majority of all that shit is funded by the streets. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And so you know what the streets is. So they know only a few motherfuckers gonna make it out that shit. But they keep the illusion out there so motherfuckers can keep going down that, that path. Mm -hmm. And so you can take a whole lot of motherfuckers out like that. You don't, you don't give them a whole lot of shit to be. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. All right. They keep, that's in they, that's what I talk about, historical markers. You don't know the origin of it, but it, it keeps them in check how to do this shit. And so look at this nigga. <laughs> Look at this silly ass nigga. Okay? See, money without a mind, that's dangerous. You understand what I'm saying? 
you know, you know you go give it, 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 it ain't even worth nothing, but you run right back to your master and give it back. You understand what I'm saying? You know, get your little, your little Jews and jams, keep your ass preoccupied. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And then what you do is you teach it right to the baby. Yeah. See, who you, who you think taught him? Him. Her. Okay? What is that? That's, Her. A, that's a woman. That's a stud. Is it? I mean, if it is, it ain't my fault, but goddamn, you know what I'm saying? It ain't my fault, it's damn the same message. I think she's she a child, but that's a woman. Okay. Oh, well, that's a double fucked up situation. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I said it at first. I was like, damn, is it? I ain't mean to have a shit. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and so he teaches the young man to do the same thing. You know, they know they're going to wipe a lot of motherfuckers out in this war, man. They didn't already did it. We don't know how many people was wiped out in the crack game. You see? And the rest of them, they making it, turning it into that he, she, that shim. Can I get some, uh, some laughter, brother? Yeah. Okay. And so they keep, and, and the homosexuality. Yes. I mean, it's so many goddamn yes. disease, I mean, uh, operations of genocide going on. Hip hop is one of them. You understand what I'm saying? The, the, the uh, Planned Parenthood is one of them. You understand the vaccines? I mean, this shit is all across the board. The cracker is trying to kill our ass. I don't know. I don't have, have to convince you. Naturally, black people, if left alone, would do greater things. Because we've shown it. Even in Philly, the, uh, the Philly sign. It was people all through this motherfucker doing group. How many legends come out of this city? When people are left, our people are left alone, you see great, greats. All, all these cities had great eras going on. The Harlem Renaissance, things was booming. We was culturally inclined when we left alone to do our thing. That's our nature. Good and bad is subjective. That's based on the frame of mind, culture, political background you come from. Nature is not subjective. It's the code of creation. What creation design you. That's your nature. You understand what I'm saying? And naturally, we are a spiritual people. Everywhere you go in Africa, the greatest monument is spiritual monuments. That's when we built our greatest for spirituality that show you who we are. That's our nature. Now, why would the fuck, after all these thousands of years of doing these great things, why are we in this condition? Something terrible has happened, and they have terrorized our people into this condition you understand calling out for help calling out for help nobody coming these bitches open the goddamn jails and let these crackers drag them out and let you hang our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. three bodies i was looking in the book a uh, brother two brothers and a sister 300 rounds were shot into it. <laughs> you know what i'm saying they just uh, unbelievable amount of rounds that they were killed overkill you understand? To send this vicious terrorism through the community. Right. And kill a whole lot of Africans at one time. But it still don't work on them because they still going to go out and date or they're going to make babies with a white man or a white woman. So you you going to still mess with somebody who would murder you? You would mess with? Why would you mess with them? But see, you got to understand the making of a nigga. See, you think that them niggas is you. Them, them is not us. Dell Jones, the nigga factory. You understand me? When you look at all of this, these babies that been adopted, this, that, and the third, this shit been, when I was in Ethiopia, man, listen here, I was seeing the motherfuckers over there walking around with babies that looked like they had just been born. Flat out, I'm being real with you. They over there taking them babies. Right. So when you look at that different stroke shit, you see them two boys, you understand what I'm saying? A lot of these motherfuckers call a white man daddy and a, a white woman, a white bitch mama. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They've never been touched by an African mind at all. Right. 
And so if they do some fucked up shit, they quit to say black did it, black did it. We ain't touched them motherfuckers. <laughs> they ain't had, and so them motherfuckers, some of them is like terminators. They send them motherfuckers down here to do all this wicked shit. Because we know what our nature is. If you don't act like us, either they done raped you or you done lost the nature. You done lost the nature, okay? Yeah. It ain't just no motherfucking color. You can be black as mud, but your nature can be white as snow. That's right, okay? Man. Absolutely. Don't be fooled by that shit. That's right. Ain't no money. Don't let these motherfuckers, it's in your nature. You know a black man and black woman, how they get down. God damn it, you know funny motherfucker that ain't been around. Yeah. Okay? We all know that. We real people, do, real niggas do real things. When you go overseas, they know you. Yeah. They ain't fooling them, they doing the same shit. <laughs> Ain't no fake ass motherfucker. If you come over there on some real shit, they'll be a witch. Mm. All right. <laughs> and so you got so this brother, this young brother grows up to be this brother again. You understand what I'm saying? Money without a mind, that's dangerous. That ain't gonna get you nowhere because the money ain't worth shit no motherfucking way. You got to have skills. You understand what I'm saying? You got to have resources. That motherfucking money drop, you, you, what the fuck you gonna do? It's mine, that's the, 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 the fucking ATM aid is out in New York. The ATM, all right. We in class. I'm the teacher. I have to write my class to order. All right. They eat. And so this young brother grows up to be this brother. And so we got, got us chasing this money, and it's locking our ass up. It's a poison. Cheese on a motherfucking trap, okay? You ain't got no motherfucking mind to see through this shit and operate with an African mind, that shit gonna lead your ass right there. Don't let these motherfuckers be no pie piper. I know y'all real, realer than that. That's some bullshit. Quit letting these motherfuckers lead y'all down the wrong path. That's why it got to be about you. And you knowing that you got to do it for you. Then no motherfucker can lead you astray. That's the bottom line. So these motherfuckers is laughing. And you think that bitch give a fuck about us? They push that dope down here. Fighting these fucking wars overseas. And they doing it right now today. They just not putting it out there now. They ain't, but you know what I'm saying? They got, you know, they got caught that time. You know what I'm saying? But now they didn't put all the checks and balances in. They'll kill your ass. You open up your mouth now. You understand what I'm saying? You look at this man. We going through all the pain and misery of the shit his fucking father did to us. Him and George, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Oliver North. He said that Reagan knew. Don't try to get out of it and try to pawn him out. And look at this white bitch, stinking ass. You understand what I'm saying? She's a guy, let me not say it. She's a lesbian. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know I'm, I'm trying to come into this, this house easy. You're, no, I'm going no, hard, no, 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 I'm going hard. No, I'm going hard. No, I'm going hard. No, I'm going hard. I won't step on no high heels here now. All right. I won't step on no high heels. Step on. All right. You know, but it is it's happening at a large rate. You understand? You know, it's happening at a large rate. At a large rate. Where our sisters is going astray and the niggas is going astray. Uh, and you ain't going to survive without the black man, black woman. It just ain't going to happen. You got to come back to that foul. You got to come back to that balance because that's what's going to resurrect the black seed. Mm -hmm. You can't go get no demon seed. Mm -hmm. Huh? Motherfucker that suck a dog dick? Yes. You want to have a baby with a cracker? Yeah. That'll lick a dog in the ass? Yeah. And that's you bust in and shit and on the motherfucker. You bust in the bed with the goddamn dog? That's what they do. <laughs> they kiss the dog in the mouth. Baby. Believe me. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Hmm. Let me run this down. Let me run this down. Again, I'm the teak. All right. I'm the only one speaking. I don't want nobody else speaking while I'm speaking. All right. 
Because I got the, the lesson. Oh, I'm teaching now. I got the lesson. I'm going to show you. I'm going to warm you up. And then I'm going to drop the bomb on you. You can't just drop it all at once. People be, you know, your pe people be laid out all over the place. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start here. No, I'm going to deal with this. 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 See, they, they do shit that th they already know we like. See, ain't nothing wrong with that. See, because we was doing it way back then. See, that's King Tut. We weren't riding around on no wooden motherfucking wagon, okay? Like the white man. He talking about he the Egyptian. And you read in 1856, the motherfucker was still riding around on a wooden wagon. And here it is, three fowl, this king, Tut's chariot. You see that? You understand? He had gold shoes. You understand what I'm saying? We weren't riding, you know, uh, George Washington had wooden teeth. <laughs> they was already putting the real damn, you know, porcelain in their mouth way back then. And them motherfuckers' teeth was rotting and shit, getting all type of worms in the goddamn wood and shit. This is for real. And so they, you know, they're doing shit that they already, they know we like gems and jewels. They know because we always was like that. We ain't no people that don't like good things. You know what I'm saying? And so we've always had this. And they know that will lead us down the path also. Put it on the rappers. You know, you want to be them. How do you go? You ain't going to obtain that at McDonald's. You're not going to do it. So the only thing you're going to do is hit the motherfucking streets. And so that's where all them, them three little lane, the rapper, the basketball, and you know, that, they go down, most of them come out the streets. These niggas with dreams in the street that have to live like that. So they, you know, that's where they send them, and that's where they're gonna get most of them. And, you know, kill them. It's gonna be a few that's gonna make it. That's the illusion to keep you coming down that way. But that's how they wiping out a lot of, of our family and pushing them in jail. We just got to see that that's the truth. Motherfuckers sell you no goddamn dream. It's the truth. And if you deny it, then you just threw your babies away. All right. And so even the drum, you know what I'm saying? They know that the drum is the elixir of Af African spirituality. Every boom, 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 boom. It just opened up a chamber in us, in our spirit. And so that information that goes in behind it, it can be good for us or it can be bad for us. And most of this shit is bad. You know what I'm saying? That's why they crush revolutionary hip hop. They ban the drum. So for the same reason. Because they, they know them brothers was opening up them chambers and putting that right information down there. We was wearing African medallions. Mm. That didn't happen nowhere else on the goddamn planet. You didn't get a kid's credit for that, making that comeback. We didn't pat them on the back and say, God damn, y'all trying to step up. We was, you know, the elders were too busy saying it was only going to last 10 years, 15, I remember. Oh, that shit ain't going to last. Goddamn crackers that made so much money off our ass. You understand what I'm saying? If y'all don't see, see, that's your essence. You can't talk about economy unless you seize that. Because that's you. That's for the family to eat on. You understand? You gave them the music. You gave them the hair. You know, all the shit we go get, for our, most of us go down to the goddamn Koreans. Even the niggas. Yes, yes, yes. You go get your goddamn waves, cats, and shit. Right down there at Chi Chi's. <laughs> yes! Oh man, foo foos, I mean. You understand what I'm saying? It's always a slide out, motherfucker. I know that. You understand what I'm saying? They got everything we need the hairbrushes, the, the liners. And it took over the very S because we like to look good. Even in ancient Egypt, we wasn't wearing no goddamn shit like you see in, they have in the Bible, niggas. We had on linen. Hmm. You understand? We had papyrus and gold sandals. And, and we ain't just saying this shit. We got the artifacts. King Tut had gold sandals. Everything down there was gold. Now, he was a young king, 17 years old. What did them kings like? Well, I'm a seed. I'm an Otep the third, Tutmosis. 
Hatshepsut. What did they have down in them temples? And them, uh, them uh, tombs? What did they have? A lot of our people did get the, the information out of there before they got there. It's hidden in Africa. You understand what I'm saying? The priests hid it. And they keep a priesthood going on. You would never know where it's at. And when that time comes, and our people come back into power, they'll be trained generation after generation after generation to maintain that particular artifact. <clears throat> and when that time comes, they'll come back and they'll bring it. You think they let them get it all? <laughs> be for real. <laughs> get goddamn. They knew they was coming. They got a lot of the shit that was further down that they couldn't. But the more sacred shit that was up south, they got it away. It's a war still going, it's the same war. It's never ending. Those are our people. And so if we love Egypt, we got to make sure that our people win. In any fucking way we can, just say we love Egypt and just read it petitions. <coughs> our peoples is over there warring, so we got to do what we have to do to support them so that they win. They trying to build another dam over there to flood out the pyramids in the Sudan. Mm. They trying to get rid of it. How we going, this is the most sacred shit we got. We can't just give it away like that. We got to fight. And so how do we support them? We, we support the fucking Arab wars overseas. Well, you think he's sending that fucking money? He's sending to his family to fight them fucking wars over there. So we going to fund they fucking wars, sell the dope. We just selling dope for the cracker. That's all we doing. We getting, you know, 20 or 15 off a of hundred. Shit like that. We might even, ain't even getting that. We ain't even getting that. You understand what I'm saying? We might be getting up under a dollar. Being serious. Because them motherfuckers don't even, they got the machine that make the motherfucking money. If you got the machine to roll the shit off, you don't need the motherfucking money. We need the machine. See? See, you playing that game with the shit that roll off. You can roll fucking money off a goddamn front of here. But what make a motherfucker believe that it's worth something? Y'all niggas believe it. Y'all, you scared of the way you believe everything the white man say. He's the good, great savior. He did take us from Africa. We was niggas. We didn't have shit on the history. That's what they taught our people. Sambo and goddamn Piccaninny and all that shit. That's what we knew. We didn't know nothing about no guy. They fucked our, our image up to where we didn't want to be African. Okay? And so... These people don't know nothing about the shit we know. How we gonna get it out there? We supposed to be printing up shit every day. Just, you know, stacks and shit, giving it away. Some people gonna wake up, everybody ain't, but at least we trying to get the people. Right. It's gonna be some people that's looking now. Cause after, really after Obama lose. He hate our people. It would be a crushing blow to a lot of niggas. He could devastate the psychology of black America right now. The psych, you know, the psychological act, you know, health of our people. He could destroy it for a lot of motherfuckers. He dropped that bomb. Woo! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna hurt cause he lost, but I'm gonna hurt for you. But at the same time, I'm gonna keep moving. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw my hand up and say, over here. Sign up, family. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you, I ain't gonna leave you, but it's gonna become more real to you. So y'all, you know, listen, everybody in here is a captain and a lieutenant. Everybody in here, y'all, the rank and file, we the top. We. And so when that time come, y'all better be prepared to go out there and do what you got to do to save your people, and we'll win. But if you don't do that, if we don't push this movement, we're gonna die. Period. Ain't no motherfucking doubt about it. Okay? So be real about whatever you do. You ain't got to take no one motherfucker's information and make it your whole goddamn viewpoint. You got 52 cards in the deck, you put it in the deck. <clears throat> or if you can win that book with, uh, you know, like I said, you play a spade, sometimes you have a lazy book. Motherfucker win it with a nine. Mm. Or eight. Y'all be looking like, man, y'all quit bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you can play it and win. But you ain't got to make it your whole viewpoint. You put it in the deck. You see what I'm saying? Don't let no motherfucker sell you no dream. That's all it is to it. The man who controls your history controls your destiny. 
that's what he did. He taught our people that we wasn't shit. And so now they acting like shit. The input is the fucking output. Somebody put it in them babies' head. Who did it? The white man. And he's the beast. Let me get through this. Let me go into the crack. <laughs> Let me go straight on. Did I pull him up? Let me go. You know what? Let me pull it up. Go into his nature. Now be strong. Now don't run. Not no problem. <laughs> I'm serious, family. Some of it I had to hold back, though. Because I'm using it. See? It ain't no good. I don't want to just bust in your face. You know what I'm saying? I want to kind of work with it. <laughs> I don't want to just bust. All right. Now. Every, you should know by now that the nature, <coughs> one of the uh, attributes of the nature of this beast is that he's a homosexual. Yes. Okay? Thank you. It's in his nature. Yes. Okay? As long as they've been on the goddamn planet, it's recorded. They've been homosexuals. Recorded. And it's all over the world. Yes. And so, just like I was showing the brothers in the uh, Stolen Legacy, if you could get that. In the beginning of that book, he talks about uh, how the Egyptians had borrowed the Greeks from Egypt for over 5,000 years. And that they only came into Egypt after the conquest. There it is, the stolen lake. Hey, bring that. Okay, he can do it better than me. Okay. Let me see if I can go right to it. Okay, it says, this on page one, it says, after nearly 5,000 years of prohibition against the Greeks, they were permitted to enter Egypt for the purpose of their education. First, through the Persian invasion, and secondly, through the invasion of Alexander the Great. Now, you got to ask yourself the question, why would our ancestors, you understand, bar them motherfuckers from coming into Egypt for that long? That's what you got to ask yourself. Those are our ancestors. That's us in here right now. We African. They feel the same way we feel right now. That's in the nature. That's how you know you African. They feel the same. <clears throat> Why did they borrow them from Egypt, that Africa, that long? You know what I'm saying? They knew what the fuck he was. But at that time, they had power to enforce it. Mm -hmm. They had power to enforce it. So as long as they was in power, they kept that goddamn cracker out. You better know it. You better read it. The ancestor didn't. Your history is here. You could go back and see this for yourself. You can go right back to the walls of ancient Egypt. You can go with Ashrock Quasi, and he'll take you right to where it is and show it. You can take the pictures. You can do your own research and come to that conclusion without a doubt. And so you see, this is the God mm -hmm. of that crap. So now that's G, that's, that's uh, Joseph. I, wait a minute, is that? See, it's uh, that young, it's that young disciple. You'll see him in the, uh, I'm going to show you, he's in the uh, Last Supper, but he's always leaning over on Jesus. Anytime you see a statue, it'll be like this. See, see how he leans over on him? Wow. See? See, it's a homosexual deity, family. You got to get that shit up. You got to get that shit up. Why you think these niggas out here rocking that Jesus piece now? I hope I didn't hurt nobody. <laughs> but it, you might not have knew. But now you know. See, you didn't know. You didn't know that. You didn't know. You didn't think about it like that. I'm going to give you a way out. 
Didn't they said he always go hard on the brothers and sisters. I'm gonna try to work with you now. We didn't always know that shit, but now we're gonna know it today. Okay? Let me see where we at. Let me look at the yeah, it's enough of them. Behind each other. Yeah, it's enough of them. Okay. Again, see that's in the paintings. That show you the pedophilia uh, practice of the cracker. And he likes young boys. They don't like them the same age. You know what I'm saying? They they predators. So how in the fuck is you gonna have a motherfucker like this in your community feeding off of your babies like that? You know what he's doing because he's doing to his own. You understand what I'm saying? You know this, but he has terrorized our people from making the right choices. You know, he has more firepower than our people, and even when we did right, he destroyed it. He destroyed it. And so our people were in so much motherfucking fear, they, even, they suppressed this shit. And the, the, even coming up out of the South, they knew that about them goddamn crackers. We wasn't with them crackers, we just got integrated with these goddamn crackers. And that's why we sick. We had our own educational system. It was black teachers who loved the kids that was teaching. We gave all that up. You got to go back, baby. All you got to do is take a few steps back. Because you fucked up here. And damn, see, incorrect where you went wrong. You know what I'm saying? What do we, we integrated with these white people. And all this disease practices that they've been doing for thousands of years, they brought it with inside of our community. Like cancer. You got to cut it out the body. You got to get rid of that cancer. So this is Greek, Grecian faggotry. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and so that's all Christianity is, is Greek mythology mixed yes. with the ancient Egyptian uh, religion and spirituality. You understand what I'm saying? He, they replace us, you know, the Osirian drama with this wicked ass cracker. And, and our people rejected it. All the records, because when you go to the temples, like where the Ptolemies, when them Grecians came on the scene, if you go to them temples, you will see that they left the cartouches blank. They didn't even write their fucking name in them. They, to let us know that they did not respect them as rulers of our land. Go and look it up. Uh, I think, uh, let me see. Uh, Ed Fu. If you go to Ed Fu, I know most that. Just type in blank cartouche and it might come up. And then type in Ed Fu or Ptolemaic temples. And you will see where them Greeks came in and they started to rule over our land that the priests would never put their names in there. If you see them in there now, they came generations after when they got weak priests. You understand what I'm saying? To put it in there. But the Africans rebelled on them motherfuckers. Don't believe that bullshit. They was, that's why when you look at the Greeks, they, all their cities was right there on the Mediterranean. So they could get the fuck out of there. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't have no no cities up south. Alexandria is right there on the Mediterranean. So they could pack their shit up when it was time and get the hell up out of there. Okay? You, that's military geography. You got to look at that. And so look in the church where they got them little altar boys. See what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. The Catholic. Why you think? Listen here. Let's be real. Even all uh, when you go to them places like Victoria's Secret and they be having all, uh, some of them places a little more wilder. They have all the costume. Why you always think it's a nun costume? See, them motherfuckers was doing all that freaky ass shit. They were the ones freaking. Okay, they don't want to talk about the shit they were doing in slavery because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to know that we got dead like that. So we just said, oh, they raped them. God damn it, how did they rape them? You don't want to discuss that. Because they still doing it now today. But they call it bondage sex. Incest. All that shit. Cartoons. Where well, they got all the cartoons that your baby watched. And all type of freakish ass shit. And your baby could be on just looking innocently, looking some of that shit up and go into some of that shit. You know, and I did it 
if you put the filter on, most of the shit will be erased. But it did come through. I, I went all the way down. I scrolled. I kept going. I kept going. And when it got more and more to the bottom, that shit came through, wow. even with the filter. Wow. Being real with your family, and you go on them posts and shit, and them crackers writing in all that good. Oh, it's wonderful. This site is even. You know what I'm saying? You cannot have these motherfuckers inside of your community with your babies, okay? This ain't no great rocket science shit, okay? Let me keep on. So you see here, them as they little boys. Yeah. Them as they little boys, family. This is the God. Look at the God. That's setting a standard. And so this is not an individual concept. That's a national racial symbol for them. They all identify with that symbol as a national identifying symbol. So don't let no motherfucker try to say this one like this one, this one like this one, this one. That's a national racial identifying symbol for them. White supremacy. They all identify, that keeps them in check. Okay, why you think they ain't locking them motherfuckers up and keeping that shit hush hush? Because the majority of them motherfuckers got one in their family. They'll be locking up their nephews. Yes. <laughs> locking up their son. Huh? They'll be locking up their own fucking family member because all of them got faggotry in their family. Mm. Okay. Again, continuing to go on with, with, with the Jesus icon. These are different ones, so it's it's they never change it. It's an idea, it keeps them in check. This is a part of their nature. And so this one is from Greece. See how he hugging the motherfucker? You see what I'm saying? This motherfucker cringe and he don't know which one he gonna hit first. He can't figure this shit out. And look at this motherfucker. You don't hold no man like that, man. Boss up, baby. I love you, dog. Be strong with me, dog. Be strong with the God. You understand? Like a soldier type of airbrake. All this and shit, this Get the fuck off of me. You know what I'm saying, you bitch ass nigga? Get the fuck off of me. In your own are you my elder, motherfucker? Stand up and let me respect you. You know what I'm saying? That's some big shit, man. That's some big shit. That's great big shit. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. No damn doubt about it. Showing that it's going on for thousands of years without a, without a break in the practice. That's nature. They do it. It's just in them to do. You understand what I'm saying, Graf? And you can see you ain't got nothing. <laughs> now you go over to Egypt and you see men. You understand what I'm saying? And he out here. You know what I'm saying? On the wall. And so when you go over there, the first thing they do is they chisel out them phalluses. And the same thing they did when they lynched the brothers. They cut off the phalluses. Showing you psychologically they've been in the same state of mind for thousands of years. It's in their nature. It's not an arbitrary practice. Okay, I couldn't wait to tell y'all this sometime because this you need this now. You know, I teach at the moment. I don't wait just because no motherfucker. My people need this knowledge now. You understand what I'm saying? You cannot let your guard down to what this beast is. He's the motherfucking beast. When they found the white man, that motherfucker was on all fours, and they still got motherfuckers on all fours right now today. I'ma show. You. All them motherfuckers ain't stood up. <laughs> and they hate that shit. They like, where this motherfucker come from? You let this my Uncle Billy out? <laughs> Got out the damn room. <laughs> now look, okay. See, let me bring this up here. Let me bring this up here. Y'all need to see this. The sisters need to see this. You know. I had to throw this together. <clears throat> now, see. Now you see, this is a, also a part of the white man's culture. It shows him from his origin. It shows you how even you know as cavemen, how they pull their women by the hair. They've always been like that. They ain't never. That's why the white woman be fighting and shit again. All that feminism, women liberation. That's they ass. 
we have temples to goddesses in Africa all day. We put on no shit like this. The sisters didn't have to fight no women liberation. You understand what I'm saying? You're the greatest thing on the planet Earth. We had already come to that conclusion long time ago. The temple is the woman. When you look at uh, Neb Het, who was Aset's uh, sister, what's on top of her head represents the temple. What's on, on top of Aset head represents the throne. So when the brothers went into the temples to teach, they was going into the universities of their mother. Okay? We already had come to that conclusion. You understand? And we ain't going to ever come back to the greatness of our ancestors until we come back to that conclusion. It don't make us no less of no man. Because once she get her power, she going to want to see the lion roll anyway. That's the most beautiful thing in action. A lion. You understand? On the kill. You understand what I'm saying? We got to get that back in us. We got to get physical, brothers. You got to get to working out. Getting that goddamn, you know, you know, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Whatever, well, I don't give a fuck. You nigga, let's do it, because I know where I'm at. And I know I don't thank you that. You know what I'm saying? Give you that, that strength you need. When you get your body strong, your mind, because you have stronger thoughts. They be more sturdy thoughts. You know, I ain't saying you're going to be out here, but they be more strong and sturdy thoughts. But you a weak nigga. Like when I stop lifting and I get a little smaller, I say, damn, that, and I look across, I say, damn, that nigga might take me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it get me back down in the gym to get my shit up. You know what I'm saying? You know? You got to feel like that, you know, but you know it's the same thing. So when you get your, your body strong, you start having stronger thoughts. They're killing us in with the food. You know they fucking us up. They done been busted. Uh, get Harry uh, Washington uh, book, Medical Apartheid. It's over there. You know, and I get a, you know, get a video too. Do get a slideshow. She talks about that. They just fucking experimenting on our people in these hospitals. They was doing early, uh, you know, all the surgeries they doing on the wound. Man, they wasn't even giving them, them, them blacks no goddamn anesthesia and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just butchering the goddamn people, man. It's ridiculous what they doing to our people. They experiment. Live the best as you can. Live, and you will live, because we did it without them. We was doing it without them in the first motherfucking place. But eat well as best as you can, work the fuck out, you gonna live. You gonna live. You know what I'm saying? You just wanna be strong. You know what I'm saying? But keep them out your womb. Straight up, keep them off your body. Don't let them give you no motherfucking shots. Fuck you. I, I, I take them. Now, here I am. I hurt my back, lifting weights. And so, I took the damn elite. Shit, I shouldn't have took it. <laughs> but fuck that, my back was out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> See that white supremacy, though. You want to your ass back. You don't know the science. And you don't want to leave the shit up because you ain't got nothing to replace. I should have asked one of the, she gave me some. And I was hard headed. And it, it, it started back hurting again anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it don't do nothing massive for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now look. Now look. Wait a minute. I got, I got into the song. Now look. Now he's pulling the sister. See? Now he's pulling the sister. I'm Brian the Rockets now. See? Now you gonna let this cave man he can see. Now this is his image. See how he draw himself? So a man think of so is he. He know better than his goddamn he know who the fuck he is. But a nigga gonna swear to God he know better. He's showing you he's still the cave man. That's his nature. His nature is the beast. You understand the bestial shit that he do. He's no good. I mean, I understand the devil concept. But that's out of the religious term. Fuck the religious term. Go to his nature. That's not arbitrary. That devil shit, that's arbitrary. He draws black. That's your motherfucking choice. But that nature shit, that's not arbitrary. That's the code of creation. 
That's what the fuck you is. That's what you go to. And you see, he ain't developed. He's, he do the same thing to you, sister. I'm going to show. We're going to get strong, though. We're going to get strong. Without a line or whatever. I'm going to show you a little more. This beast. Let me show you a little more of this beast. Let me show you a little Okay. Now, if you see this, right here. Okay. Um, wait a minute. No. That's G rated right there, family. Slow down. Slow down. I'm, I was trying to give it to you in increments. No, I want your OD. You know what I'm saying? Put a cut on it. And then I'm going to bring it up to the purity. See? It's showing you. It's in their nature. That's why that God, they dog, the dog is their deity. See, and they teach it to their babies. See, that's nature. They keep it going on and on and on and on. But if you see this shit out in the public, more than likely behind the scenes, this is what they do. See, 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 I'm going to come back now. See, I'm going to come back. Okay, okay. I don't have to say nothing, no shit like that. What the fuck? Did, there it is. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> In the discussion. Now, if you let a motherfucker talk you up out of that, get the fuck on. We, we was looking for your ass. You the nigga we the 15%, we've been talking about. You have identified yourself. Thank you, nigga. And then we just wipe all the ass out. <laughs> That's in their nature, man. That's a beast motherfucking nature. That's a beast nature. See, see this fucking hair? See, she done shed it. <laughs> see, see, they done been cloned and shit. You understand what I'm saying? But they all come from one origin. All white people is a race. They come from one origin. So you can take any which one of them motherfuckers you want. When you bring them back far enough, they all going to come to this. So when them motherfuckers came out, all of them motherfuckers was like that. Okay? Niggas gave them razors and shit. Them motherfuckers, who going, what the fuck, you need that for? So that one even came up in their culture. Why the fuck were they shaved up in the goddamn cold? That's why that shit came on their body in the first place. To protect them from the goddamn cold. So they, that ain't no concept that would have even came up in their goddamn culture, the shade. And so you got that wolf man motherfucker right there. That's a real man. A real man. Now what the hell is in his genetic makeup that make his face come out like that and his body and shit? That wasn't an original gene. See, that ain't got shit to do with Africa. That's how you know them bitches is totally different. See that lie talking about we all African know the fuck we ain't all African. That's a bullshit ass lie. Don't let them jump on your bandwagon like that. They, they, they want to be accepted one way, and so they this is a historical or psychological marker. See, they keep that shit to keep, you know, they don't want, can't go back to this. Can't go back to this. See what I'm saying? And so it was, they was uh, killing them motherfuckers. You know, after ones had been, you know, they came down and they got in the blood and so they got, you know, more human-like, you know, to the flesh. But all them motherfuckers, they, they, they might not have looked exactly like that motherfucker. That shit probably came from the fucking, the dogs. Because you spread and semen. We gotta be real about that. When you fucking go into the, the animals fucking coming. Okay? And so that shit going in your fucking mouth and all in your womb and shit, all in your penis hole and shit, what the fuck? What the fuck we got to say? What the fuck are we talking about? This shit is unreal. African people have never, ever, and if a motherfucker brain, he's a traitor to the race. He's a traitor to our race. For real, this shit, we cannot let our guards down. Our babies deserve better than that, man. Whatever your little motherfucking gig is, that's all right. But you don't let the guard down of the family, man. You don't let, you don't leave your family out there to these wolves like that. 
Yeah, fuck that, man. You got to say what it is. Whatever your love, mom, your gig is, that's all right. I ain't knocking a motherfucking hustle unless it's trying to hurt my people. Do your motherfucking thing. But do not disarm my people to protect themselves. Okay? So you look at even the albinos in Africa. You know? They, they, you know, it's a lot of shit about that, you know, because they be killing them. You know what I'm saying? It's looked at as a curse in Africa because, see, this is what the sun do to them. And so nobody wants to be white like that because they know what it's going to bring. So naturally, a white man would have never been a god in Africa. That's the nature of it. You don't have to fucking go through this shit. You can see it. So from my frame of reference, the devil is white. Period. Okay? That's hell that they living in. You know, we love them, and sh but damn, you know, the, this, is the, this is our father's doing. You know, this is nature. And so you see right here, these are twins showing the, the power of the black woman. You understand? Because she could produce white and black woman and man. Woman and man. You see what I'm saying? She could produce all things. She's God. She's the, she's the nourisher. You know, you hear about these masculine deities. They are the providers. When a child comes out, it calls on his mother. That's his God. That's his God. He knows what's going to sustain the baby. The baby already knows. It's in the nature. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we wrote on the walls. We got to go back to that. We got to provide protection for our children and our women. Or this shit is not going to change. So niggas is going to have to man the fuck up. And only do we have to get strong and then come together. And come together. Start working, start building and talking. And getting this national network of blackness going on. And if they fuck with us, then they're going to bring it regardless. But if we together, we can defend ourselves. I know that. We can defend that. And if they know... They got to come down here. If they come in like that, bring it on. Because they trying to kill us any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? I, believe me, Africans is going to ride all around this motherfucker. And so whatever going to be, going to be. Don't think Africans is going to let that shit happen to us. It's, it's mines over in Africa and in the South Pacific is just like this. Is that our system of uh, communication have been destroyed from ancient times. And you can't just up and get that shit going in a fucking year or even a lifetime. Because it took thousands of years to get these communication network systems going. You know what I'm saying? That's what they did to us. You know what I'm saying? They destroy it so it, it ain't, you can't just jump up and do it like that. But you got to start with that mirror. You know what I'm saying? Take care of y'all self, man. Just look, you know, look for look at your babies, look at your woman. Want the best for your family. You know what I'm saying? And if everybody is doing that, you will start seeing the neighborhood. They're going to automatically change. You know what I'm saying? Quit pointing your fucking finger at everybody else when there's so much work to do with you. You understand? Me. You know, I. You know, it's going to happen, fam. I just want to say that uh, thank you being here, you know, I'm coming back. I'm coming back, family. I wish. I wish. I wish, family. I love y'all. I love my people. You know, anytime that y'all need me, y'all know that y'all can call me. You know what I'm saying? I'll be here quick, fast, in a hurry. And so, you know, don't let this shit out here on YouTube and shit. Don't let it fool you, you know. I'm for my people. I'm wherever my people at. That's what, that's my home. So Philly is my home, you know. Philly is my home. I intend to be back here with my family. So thank you and Black Pop. Thank you, thank you, Brother Teddy. Um, before y'all disperse, I, I wanted Brother Dave to get a, a couple minutes to let him know or let y'all know about his lecture that he has coming up. You know we have lectures constantly nowadays. It's, we gotta keep feeding the people everything that we, you know, get out there. We got our own thing in here. We wanna keep accepting people to come and, and keep feeding y'all with information. So I got Brother Dave here. 
How are everybody doing out there? Hey, that was a great out. lecture. Yeah. Great lecture. Um, couple of things that, that he touched on. We got to take charge of our health. If, if we want to be strong as a people, we got to be healthy. And so the supermarkets is the biggest drugstore. So we got to realize that we got to change our diet. That food we had today, that's the kind of food we need to eat on a regular. You know what I mean? Stay away from this junk food that's killing us. You know, we can't, we can't move as a people if we stay on junk food. You know, what I'm going to be teaching on the 17th of November is about building up your immune system strong, like a God should be. And if you build your immune system up, you can stay out from hospitals. You know what I'm saying? No disease can come into you. You know what I'm saying? We got to get that mindset again. See, we let them poison our mind with that bull. You know, telling us we got this and we got that disease. You know, I come from a philosophy that there's only two diseases. Congestion, circulation. That's, that's how the uh, Eastern uh, world looks at it. You know, uh, Western world looks at it as malnutrition and uh, toxicity. Um, that's all there is. Everything else is, is a name to justify medication, okay? And if we get more wise and, and stick together and understand the truth about our diets and what we should be eating as gods, we won't get sick. You know what I'm saying? Learning our blueprints. You know, the doctor that taught me, Dr. Frank Wyatt, taught me about the blueprints. We walking around with them every day on our bodies and don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? You want to know if you're deficient in a vitamin or mineral? It's all over your body. So you got to learn this stuff so you can stay out of them hospitals so they can't tell you you got something that you really don't have. You know, so November the 17th, from 7 to 10, I'll be talking on how to build an immune system like a god. So come and, and enjoy this um, information, you know, and brothers like support this. Support the brother, pal. Brothers like this if is what we need. support the brother. You know what I'm saying? So we don't have to take the lead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we can stay off of that. <laughs> this brother here is, like, is a savior. We got to keep him what? You know what I'm saying? Thank you, my brother. All right? <laughs> oh, by the way, we also have a, a, a lecture later on today at 4 o'clock. It's a class, a workshop for the young ladies, the women, and the men. Because uh, we all need to know how to be more healthy in, in everything that we do. So we have a, a lecture given by Jamila Manigo, and the lecture's title is How to Have an Orgasm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, what? what time was that? <laughs> <laughs> that starts at 4 o'clock, and it's, that starts at, at 4 o'clock, and um, we also have all of SETI's DVDs over here on the side for sale. I want you to come, make sure the brother gets some support from you, show him all the love, rap with him, he's not leaving. I ain't running, I ain't running. I don't think he's, this is his first time here, we can't let him leave. So, <laughs> so thank y'all for coming out, I hope to see you later on. I'm Sister Ayoko, Brother Hanif of All Them DVDs. This is day two of our Philly weekend with Sara Student SETI. Thank you so much for your support. You want to book the date? The first weekend in November, every year, we're going to bring you some, you know, some of what you got today. So the first weekend in November, remember, 2013, 2014, right. save it. All right, and look for All Them DVDs. Um, we want to give thanks to Black and Novell. They were a co-sponsor of this particular event. <laughs> and also, just to thank you again for your support. Peace and love. You have a beautiful, beautiful, black, power-filled day. Thank you. Thank you. Baby Fodier. Oh, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
coming out, brother. Yes, sir, my brother. So what you think about the lecture? That one God for up his yeah. his the most honorable what you think about the lecture today? Oh, the lecture was definitely powerful. Yeah, very intriguing. Powerful. Um, it's, just, it's just I hope that we can get this message out here to people that really don't know because a lot of times we've been preaching to the choir so we got to explain it out to people that really need to know. So when this DVD comes out, you know, we can purchase it, purchase several copies and start giving them away for free, you know, for our excess money so that other people can get this information because a lot of us already know. So, you know, but it was definitely needed for need somebody to be able to present it in the way that he presented it. They can speak to the people that's going to understand it in that language. Did you enjoy the lecture? Come here, what would you say? I said it was powerful because a lot of people my age really don't know that. I'm trying to spread it out. There's people my age so they can really know the truth. So how are you going to do that? Keep on my school and stuff like that. Just set up stuff. So I can see my honor How old are you? I'm 13. Did anybody make you come out? No. I actually uh, got on the bus and came here. By right, yourself? I, I, saw the, I heard about this on YouTube. So. What's your name? Juno. All right. Please. Thank you for coming out. Make sure that you go up and introduce yourself to the brother. Involved in crimes that the white man has set up for young black men and women to participate in to participate in this great struggle. How do you like the lecture? It was beautiful. It was beautiful. The lesson was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was powerful. It was powerful. It was powerful. It was powerful. What's your name? Medea Hall. Where are you from? From East St. Louis. East St. Louis? Yeah, East St. Louis, Illinois. How'd you know about this? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm here in Philly now. I'm in Atlanta here in Philly. I, I actually saw my brother at the dollar store on Friday night. I was at the break. I walked in the dollar store and I walked past. I said, hold on. I said, is that so right? So when I got up to the county, he was still there. I, was, I said, Sarah, I soon said he was getting to walk off. He turned around, black power, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Gave a power, I found him, because I didn't, I didn't know about it. I didn't hear about it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't see any flies or whatever. So when he told me about it, I was like, God, it's a country boy. Thank you so much. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The ordinary sub stop, Philadelphia, PA. Shots so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prison.
solutions to We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too But it's more than a bookstore You wonder we gotta make states, DVDs and culture products Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects We welcome all to come build, the energy is positive Every member of the team is awake and conscious Come through and experience this place of knowledge They say they'll put it in a book if they wanna hide it from us But we got them books so you can buy it from us Something to read while you on a train or riding the bus Get your read on, food for thought, get your eat on Black and Nobel, I buy my books at Black and Nobel